Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. So today we're going to take a walk in the park. Not literally, it was just figuratively, we're going to be painting it. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you how you can take a photograph and edit it and add. So here's a, I have a photograph reference photo for this like walkway, but it's actually not like a flat park walk. It is more of a dirt road and I tell you, I edit it and it didn't have people in it and it had more of a background and I kind of edit all that out. And sometimes that's what you need to do. You kind of like want the photograph for like inspiration for maybe the shapes of trees and maybe how the road goes, et cetera, et cetera, a house and you don't like the rest of it in the background. And this is a tutorial for you for that. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you're a Patreon member, I give you like a rough traceable of this. If you don't, if you're not a Patreon member, maybe consider joining because I have some traceables, exclusive tutorials on Thursdays that are longer, more in depth than they are on YouTube. Um, some are like more intense like that, uh, more advanced. And then I have a live stream in the top tier. It's just a place people go and support my channel. I also have a Facebook group where we do weekly challenges and monthly giveaways. We have a lot of fun, so come check it out. So without further ado, let's get walking in the park. <laughs> All right, let's go over supplies. I'm using a block from Fabiano. This is that bright white, 100% cotton cold press block. Um, I'll be using my Princeton 12 Aqua Leaf brush and a number eight long round velvet touch series brush. And I give you a reference photo. It's always under this in the description box underneath the supplies. You'll see reference photo, you just click on it. And we're not gonna paint everything. I'm not gonna paint this sky. I wanna keep it simple. This is one basically a tutorial about like editing, right? You're editing and adding. So I'm editing out this whole background. I'm just gonna keep the greenery and just that's about it, right? Some greenery and that's it. And then I'm gonna add people. So you get, say you get a photograph like this, and then you can just figure out, we wanna draw some people and put them in the, put them in the little photograph. <laughs> and then from there you can do like the shadows and stuff. And so obviously a proportion of the person, you can make them bigger if you want to in the front, but smaller, better, less details you have to put in. And if you don't know how to draw a person, let me zoom in real quick. My, my little my little uh, sharpie pen here so it's really kind of like stick legs maybe a little triangle like a V like this for the little legs and then a line across and then the body so we're kind of bulky because I get like a backpack on and then a the little head and you can kind of do that for all of them see Poking a little head and little like little stick legs, and then we'll just be painting little shadows next to them walking in the walkway, and that's it. That's it for a person, <laughs> just a little blobby kind of thing. So I've already sketched in my, um, you know, the basic areas and the paint that are I want to use. Like I said, I'm not doing the background sky in this background here, and I, you know, I'm gonna make my road. I could make my road. This has like. Like it's, you know, it's more of a dirt road. You can make it more flat. You don't have to follow this exactly. You can add a fence in there. And if you wanted to add a fence, make it more interesting, right? See, here's a fence, kind of old fashioned fence. You could put flowers in the foreground. These are things you can think about. So you're using photos as a reference. This is a royalty free reference photo from Unsplash. But you're doctoring it, you're changing it. and you know, you don't have to keep the same kind of look that they have here. It's just to help you with the shadows and the light and like the placement of the trees and the road. So I'm not gonna keep my road the same as this one. And I'll show you what I mean. So I've already mixed up some greens over here on the right here. A uh, Prussian blue with some cabin yellow deep with a little bit of burnt umber to get this deep, deep green. Uh, peacock blue with some yellow and a little bit of burnt umber to get that bright green. And then in this one's just, ultramarine blue deep with yellow and you get this more muted green over here sorry and we'll play with mixing in some other kind of color tones right so we want to just kind of put simple washes of color in we don't want to get it like really super detailed with all the little trees and if you do want to do like fun little tree details the sea sponges are great for that put those in i would suggest putting those in at the end when it makes more sense um, if you don't have a sea sponge, you can just rip up a regular sponge and you can create kind of like the nooks and crannies like this. It works just as well. So let's get started. 
I'm going to use my number 12. And this is, like I said, just simple washing and color. So you can just start to take the, the really loose, like almost like team adding more yellow and blue and more yellow. I need a lot of paint. So you see how the consistency is really, really wet. It's like tea, almost like water, <laughs> but more tea. And I'm just going to wash in this light green. I have a little pigment of brown there, so I'm just going to move that out. It wasn't mixed in enough. I'm careful not to go and hit my person. You know, I'm going to go around the person. There we go. I know it might be more difficult for you with the bigger brush like this, but it's it doesn't have to be perfect. So here I'm just kind of putting in the loose green, just like that. And I'll start to play with it over here too. Like I said, we're just using the reference photo for reference. We're not going to fall everything to the T. We're just going to get a feel of like a nice spring day and walking in the road, like a path or a road or something like that. See, I didn't mix up enough. Now it's, I'm losing some of the paint. Just going to go really loosely stick this color in. And you don't have to fill up the whole page either. I'm trying to get that other green out of there. <laughs> get out of there! Make it a little brighter. And see how loose I'm just painting this? Just go in real quick. That bright chartreuse kind of green. And we have the trees back there. You can get like funky with the the bottom half, so I might like tilt up my page and kind of just wash in some color here, kind of going down, grabbing the other color green. See? Get creative. Because we're not going to fill up the whole page. We want to kind of have like more of a vignette style. I'm just going to wash it like this. It's going to tippy tap. Just have a little texture kind of happening there. Call it a day. And just get that first color down. Nice and flat. So it looks more like a park, kind of walking through the park kind of situation. And we're going to build and build and build. So I've got that medium green from mixing the ultramarine blue, see, ultramarine blue, get even darker, it gets like a sagey kind of green, and play around with that, and you add yellow, you want all different types of greens, so I'm gonna just gonna, again, just gonna put in like a little wiggle of the greenery here, and these colors, just a little bit different than the green we just put down. Just like that. We want different different varieties of greens. And even the tree. So here I'm just kind of putting all these little medium green. You can start to add some more values with other deeper, darker greens here. But you see the differentiation where like the path is going this way. This needs to be a little bit lighter here by this person. There we go. And so for the bigger trees, again, I'm going to go back in here, grab some of this yellow, mix it up with some of the greens I have, a little bit of brown. We can start off light here. I have the penciled in like the tree branches and the trunk, but we're going to just put in some light washes of, I'm adding more water, of the tree. And then we'll go over that with the branches. See, it's just really kind of loose. It's a spring day. I'm just tapping the top, really kind of loose, adding more water, getting it lighter. Just kind of going in like this. And little, little teeny taps up here for smaller leaves. And leaving some white in between, just like that. You want to bleed, you can go ahead and bleed. And then for the smaller tree down here, you can start to add some deeper colors if you want to do that. Make it a little bit darker. Same thing. Maybe I'll make it a little more blue. So this one's a little deeper green. And I'll take my brush and I'll create tree trunks with the green itself. I think I'm going to add a little uh, paint gray to this. Make it more of a gray, deeper green. 
Maybe like that. Water this down. And connecting it. So I did like a little, you see like the little tree trunk kind of happening here. And then just kind of connect it like this. And that's my tree. You can add the brown if you want in the bottom. Like I said, I'm not following the photograph to a T. I'm just kind of doing what I feel like. And there's the tree. We're going to keep building from there. Again, these same colors out here. For this one, do the same thing with the little connecting little lines. And you've got your tree. We're getting there. <laughs> Mixing up all the greens in a way. Getting a different color green. Again, doing the same thing. This is more of a medium green again. Leave some white space. See how I'm just kind of tapping this and then leaving white space and do the tree trunks with the same color. Going up, connecting, and over here. We really want to just keep this simple. You want to add some bright kind of light greens. Throw those in in between on top of that one. And I'm just kind of filling it in. I didn't really kind of follow the tree that we have there, but you can kind of add the tree that's on top that you see on the side if you wanted to in a deeper color. Here's the blue and a little paints gray, get even darker. See, background, tree. It's up to you. You don't have to do any of that. Um, again, I'm doing this little tippy taps. For like little leaves that are like wandering that you can see outside of that. Connect. There we go. So tree, keeping it, we're keeping it simple, like I said. And you're kind of mixing up more of these medium greens for the bushes over back here. Get some a little bit darker too, because it would be in the background. So again, super simple. Now we can start to play with adding in, can get some brown in here, some brownish greens. Playing around over in here, it's like there's like a path that's lighter, but we, like again, you don't have to follow it. You can just kind of put some greenery in here. Going pretty loose, just adding in some deeper green. And I might lift it up and tippy tap from there. You can make a bright green in there if you want. Here's the peacock blue and the yellow. It's a brighter green. So you see some shadows happening from the tree. We're going to add some more like dimension with it. It's just really flat right now. So grab some other greens like here I'm mixing yellow, making this a little bit darker than the last one. Just tippy tapping though. I'm not really, and then I'm taking that water and kind of mushing it. Give you the different kind of greens that you see. And adding up some deep color in here. See, get the deeper color. Same thing out here. Getting a little bit darker here. I really want to keep this one much more flatter here, but adding in some variations back here. Going back, playing with the color there the different tones of the greens that are happening in the background. See, like it's a simple like walkway. You don't have to make it like this insane perfect thing. Maybe we'll add some greens on the side here. I'm still using the number 12, by the way. So you can kind of push up. Like there's some foliage happening. I know it's not much in the photograph, but we can play around with that. Just kind of pushing up and maybe get a little bit darker 
as you get to the bottom a little bit. We can add some, like I said, you could add some flowers, some different kind of foliage. We're just playing around with this. Now I haven't done the road yet. I'm going to add some more deeper color here that I've added on that side over here. Blending it, bleeding it, all that good stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to mix up the road color. I'm going to use burnt umber, water it down. I'm going to add some paints gray to that. A little more paints gray. Just really water that down so it's like a brown, brown. The burnt umber is more red. Let me test it on my paper. Here we go. Paper towel. So I'm going to get that. It should be very light back here because the sun's kind of hitting them. So here we go. Got to add it in kind of mostly down here. Again, I'm not going to show the whole road. Fairly light, really light. Don't hit the people yet. Although you could because they're going to have like dark colored pants. So if you want to do that, just go right over the people's legs <laughs> with this light, light brown, beigey color. Right. And a little bit deeper color kind of happening here. I'm going to keep it light. And then we're going to wait till it dries and then we're going to go in and add some shadows to it. Grab a little bit darker of this color kind of over in here. See, I'm kind of putting some of the darker tones this way down, just kind of blending and bleeding it. Really again, like I said, keeping this simple. Now I'm going to switch to my number eight long round and you can start to play with um, adding in some grasses. That's a little too dark. Let's get a little bit lighter green here going. Um, little, say like little leaves tapping. Tippy taps. This is still very, very wet, so I might have to wait till that dries to go in and do the same thing. Like this one's all dry. So you can just do these little tippy taps of you know, foliage. And then here, I might just wash in some color like this. I'm holding the brush on its side, getting that dry brush happening, adding in some deeper tones. Again, doing the same thing. This is still very damp, so I have to wait till it kind of dries. But you can add some deeper tones. While this part over here is lighter, you can just kind of go in here and add some grass or some twigs and all kinds of fun stuff. You want to have some flowers going on. I'm just doing some simple grass. Okay, we can also start to paint the tree trunk on this one. But before we do that, if you wanted to take, um, like I said, the sea sponge, we're going to go over it too, but I've got some red on my sea sponge. Oh, too much <laughs> pink on that one. I'll use this one that has green on it. Okay, take some of that darker color and you can kind of tap in the leaves. Mixing up my color on my sea sponge. So he goes really, oh, sorry. He didn't even see me do that. So I got a sea sponge, got it wet. I'm just dipping in the paint here and I'm just tapping it where the leaves are here. If you want to mush it a little more, Add a little deeper value. And you can see the little leaves. It gives it, again, texture. You can kind of put some down here. We're going to put in the tree trunks in a second. I just wanted to do this, a little bit of this first. And you kind of have some kind of poking, poking out over here too. Getting that brown. Just a little bit, not too much. You know, you go crazy, push it down a little bit. Okay, we'll take our number eight long round. I think this is a little too wet, but we can start to play with that. We're gonna have paints gray, burnt umber, it's almost like blackish brown, and start to put in our trunk. 
I have little wiggles for the tree branches. You might want to wait till that dries. I was going to go over some of that. So I'm going to wait till this all dries and then come back because it's all going to start to bleed and then I don't want that to happen. But you get what I'm saying. <laughs> all right, now that it's dry, I can go back in and make better choices with the <laughs> branches. So I'm going to kind of push them down in here, wiggle some skinny little branches coming out here. Really kind of tiny. Creeping out from the greenery that we have. And here. Again, go in here, put that tree trunk. And all those little fun branches. Have them poking through some of the foliage. Just like that. Yeah, have some kind of floating down here. And they can even kind of be floating a little bit out here. And of course, down below, add some more little twigs kind of floating here. And if you want to put the fence in, you can put the fence in. It's up to you. And here, now that it's dry, if you wanted to go back in and add, like I said, the grasses, you can add some grasses. So now we're going to focus on the people and then we're going to do shadows in the road. So we have that brown mixed with a peacock, excuse me, peacock. I don't know why it's on my head. So the brown and the burnt umber over here, we're gonna do the shadows from their, their body kind of going out. And you can get a little more gray if you want to. It's up to you. Just kind of go out with a little line. And then we have the shadow you see from the trees. Now some of this over here is in the green and then it's on the road. So I'm just going to water this color down and just take this. You could use this color or a different color. Kind of go like this. I'm holding it on the side. See, it's going to skip and miss some areas. And I'm going to get it a little bit darker. Now you can use this color or if you want to add a little blue, go ahead and do that. And I'm going to make the green darker where it's meeting that color. See? Holding it on the side. In the photograph, it shows the little tree, but I did the big tree doing that. You can do the little tree too. Same thing, I'll get a little bit darker here with the greens. Even more so. And then have that dark line kind of coming. And then we can put another one by the road out that way. Give it more variety. I had a little too much green in my brush, so get on the road. So we get the shadows. And you play around with adding a little bit deeper color here, a little 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 lines, just to give it a variety. You can do some dry brushing too on this road. See, holding it on the side. So now for the people, um, like blackish gray. So move this color over here. Paints gray, works great. You can just use that mostly in browns and the brown. So zoom in. Like I said, it's like a backpack. If you want to use blue, I've got some ultramarine blue. You want to put that in. Excuse me, it's too dark first. So a little blue, a little gray. I'm trying to add a little blue, but it's just getting so dark. I'm watering it down now. 
this the backpack is going to go there this person can be wearing all blue this one up front is gray and then we can do the, the gray blackish pants see his little feet same thing with this one add a little touches of like black in there and down here oops there's a little head see just wiggling the little head just like a gray black and for the backpack I'm gonna make it darker like this so I left some white areas if you want to put like a little arm kind of sticking out that's it that's how I did the people and if they're not dark enough in the road you can kind of tweak the shadow for them because they're walking and that's uh, people walking in the park <laughs> simplistic you can go back in and you could change things up a little bit by like I said adding more details or flowers or whatnot I'm gonna go back in and add a little bit of bright yellow green here tweaking this a little bit I want this really bright again adding the different variations it just makes it more interesting but really just keep it simple like this you know and then you can go in and do whatever you want like I said with the twigs with the the grass maybe up front I'll add some more detail I don't want to get super detailed because I didn't make everything else super detailed kind of made it simple you want to put a little grass in the road do that just playing around tapping and then you could use you know the sea sponge I can go back in here and use my brush too and tap in the greens really really bright yellow greens up in here because the sun is hitting it it's really like a spring summer day although they're dressed kind of more warm but but you get what I'm saying I right, some of that chartreuse kind of color also for the road you can go in and add a few more shadows kind of over here where the the greenery is you know get it a little more interesting some dark colors kind of back here swooping down it's not just one note get the colors out here I'm gonna kind of just hold the brush on the side and go down a little bit like this and then maybe like here you might want to like erase some of the green so it looks like this light shining through I'm kind of wiggling with water and you tap with the paper towel so it gets lighter like you see how the Sun's kind of from coming over here I'm just gonna wiggle it you might want to use a crappier brush than this brush and then it's kind of like oh I can see how that looks like the Sun's coming through I'm gonna grab one of my ugly uglier brushes do it over here too kind of grab it you know kind of a, lifting up the paint so now it looks like the sunlight's coming through just on the edges on the left hand side see that doesn't that change change the whole look of it and that's what we get so there's our walk in the park um, like I said, take care of the little details if you want. Oops. If you want to add some flowers, I'll keep it simple with just greens. Don't forget to add all the different shading. But um, I wanted to just show you how you would take a photograph and just edit it, keep it simple, you know, not a little crazy. And um, that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification button to know when my tutorial is up. And check out my Patreon where I have ad-free videos, traceables, like I say, and exclusive tutorials. They're much longer than they are on YouTube. They're more in-depth and, um, yeah, you know, things like that. And my live stream, you can ask questions, we go over stuff, you know, a lot more 
fun stuff on the live stream as well. So take care, have a great day, and I'll speak to you soon.